Welcome to the Drive to December playoff preview show here on the Varsity Sports Network. That's right, the playoff points and the projections, the power rankings, whatever one you call them, they're out and about. They're the talk of the town. Who's in? Who's out? Who's up? Who's down? We'll break it all for you here in the Big Band, go through all the classifications that we need to. So let's not waste any time. Let's bounce in to Class 7A. Here, Region 1, top dog is Columbia. 48.83 is the margin for Columbia, and they are rolling at the top spot coming out of District 2. Of course, as far as we're concerned, we have Lincoln down there in the 8th spot here in the power rankings. Of course, they do lead the district, and the top four district champions will be seeds one through four. So if you want to incorporate that, really Lincoln is truly a four in the power rankings. They're coming in with 38.33 points, averaging on the power ranking average here. And we'll skip down a couple more spots. Leon is actually up a position. You know, you take the week off and good things happen sometimes. They're only 1.93 points back of the line to gain behind Lincoln. They're sliding in at 11th right now, 36.4 points. Two spots behind them. Charles actually dropped a spot. They're 2.5 points back of the line to gain, coming in at 13th at 35.83 points. So we'll cascade down to the other big power public school region here that we have here in the Big Bend. That's 5A. Of course, top dog, Trinity Christian out of Jacksonville, 45 points is their average. Number two, there are Godby Cougars coming out of District 2 in the 5A classification at 42.00 points. Godby also leads their districts, so they would be truly the number two seed, as you can see there on the power rankings that just defeated Wakulla this past weekend. Speaking of the War Eagles, down in the ninth position, Wakulla actually slides out that they had um, last week, they had a eighth position locked up. They've since gone below the line to gain. 37 points even is what they average. They are 1.4 points back of the line to gain against Swanee, who's going to play Childs here out in 7A this weekend. And then down in the 18th spot, we have the Rickards, the Raiders, the 7.4 points back to the line to gain coming in with 31.00 average of course still two district games to play so they could still get the automatic district bid so that'll do it all for 5a let's slide on down to 4a and man if you want to talk about controversy here's where you get it going number six we're going to skip all top five because here in the Big Bend, right now, it's all about Gadsden County. 31.40 is their power ranking average. Good for the sixth spot. They were in the fifth spot last week. Slid down to spot number six. Of course, their average is based on an 0-5 record right now in Category 4. But they're still hovering at that sixth spot. The strength of schedule being rewarded here for the Jaguars, so we love to see them stick around and continue this, what could be a playoff campaign down in 2018. So that's really all we have for 4 Ray. Let's slide on down for a little 3A action. Top dog is Baldwin right now, averaging 43.40 on the power rankings. And then of course, there we go, Seminoles. Florida High sitting at 42.00. Last week, Florida High was sitting at number one, so they've actually slid two spots um, down to the number three rank. Of course, unlike the larger classifications, 4A, 3A, 2A, 1A do not have automatic bids or district championships to help them get up in the standings. So this is a raw power ranking. So if the playoffs were to start today, you would see Florida High would be in the number three spot course with no first round bye and they would have to face the number six seed Fort White. Just below Fort White another Big Bend school Taylor County on the outside looking in right now but just a shade of points back. They're sitting at 35.4 they're only 0.43 points back of the line to gain which is at Fort White. Last week they were tied for sixth, lost a couple uh, minute clarifications with categories being recategorized so they're dropped down to the number seven but they're still alive and well in it 
in the 3A chase there in Region 1. So that'll do it for 3A. Let's slide on down to the 2A classification. And these last two classifications for the Big Ben are stacked. Small ball football is run by North Florida. Here, Region 1 will slide up in there. And the top dog is right, the North Florida Christian Eagles. Averaging 40.67 in the power rankings. They are the number one seed. Fresh off a 4-2 and two campaign with a Category 2 classification so far. They are still at the number one spot as they were last week. Also, right behind them, also La Christian, a great 5-1 and one campaign so far. They're also at the same place they were last week, 38.00 points. They're number two. Both of those teams would get the first round by if playoffs started today. Slide down to number four spot, the undefeated Marauders coming in at fourth in the standings, 37.5 points. And then slide down there, we got a new team to the party here. Monroe coming up from seventh place, rising into the sixth. They're up one spot. Of course, the strength of schedule helping them out a lot. Playoff started today, the Bobcats, the revolution out there would be beginning. So right now they are on the threshold sitting at that money six position. So we'll slide down a couple more positions. Down to eight is FAMU High. Coming in, had a bye week as well. They're only one point back though of Monroe. So still a very big chase here. Right around six through eighth is a very close competition. Those teams are gonna shuffle back and forth. Of course, Rocky Bayou and a couple other of these schools are gonna start to play each other. So. By default, they're going to start to knock each other out. Also in this Region 1 in Class 2A, the Panthers, St. JP2, down from the south side of Tallahassee. They're a little farther back, but still knocking on the door. 5.05 .05 points behind the line to get, which is 35.8 set by the Bobcats. So JP2 still off and rolling, trying to pick up their first victory of the season. So that'll do it for the 2A classification. So we'll slide on over to the 1A. Over in Region 2, we have six out of the eight teams here in the Big Bend. Four of them qualify so far if the playoffs were to get rolling. Number one, just like they were last week, the Jefferson County Tigers. Your overall number one seed here in Region 2. They're 4-1 and one this season and rolling. Number two, as they were last week as well, Bluntstown coming in with 40.33, less than 0.5 points, or excuse me, just less than 1.5 points behind Jefferson County. Of course, Sneeds at number three. Then another one of our Big Ben teams, Port St. Joe coming into the four spot. They are still 5-0. and oh. They actually slid down a position um, Sneeds with the big victory last week over Weewa was able to jump Port St. Joe. And then we're going to go down to right at the line to beat Weewa Hitchco. We just talked about them playing Sneeds. They are currently sitting at sixth with 35.50 points. Just behind them, Liberty County is 3.3 points back. And then Franklin County is 6.3 points back. Two more teams here in the Big Bend still vying for that spot here down the stretch. That'll sum up Region 2. Of course, we've got a double region uh, scenario here in Class 1A, and that's the Madison County Cowboys, the reigning 1A state champions in 2017. Of course, only one loss on the season at 5-1 so far this year. They are still slated at the number two spot, ranked in Region 3, just behind Chiefland. Chiefland, of course, with a 42.8 power ranking average. Madison County just over a point behind them. Of course, still a lot of football to be played here. This is just through the first six weeks of the rankings. Still with five to go here. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. That's when all the moves are going to be made. So that's pretty much all we have in the Big Ben here. Thank you for joining us on the Varsity Sports Network Drive to December Playoff Point Preview Show. Make sure to check out the website varsitysportsnetwork.org as well as the Twitter feed and Facebook at Varsity Sports TV for updated information, score statistics, everything you need to know for the playoffs and beyond. I'm Andrew Jupe. 
and we will see you later.